Scott Williams is in for Wolf today. And I know, Scott, I'm sure you heard it a bunch last week, too. Everybody's saying, oh, it's just it's just the same old game. Jonathan Gannon, it's just another game we're playing. Oh, yeah, we're going to Philadelphia? Where's that? Like, it was just, um, and, and I'm not saying that there wasn't some truth to that's how they needed to approach it. But you can't tell me after watching that game on Sunday where the Cardinals went in there and put up 35 on the Eagles and ran 25 more plays and had 175 more yards and the reaction of the players after the game – You can't tell me there was at least a little bit extra to shut up Philly fans when it comes to Jonathan Gannon. This team, I know they've been playing hard, and we'll get into that, but they they took it to another level on Sunday in Philadelphia. Yeah, I mean, it was in last week. We were talking about the remaining three games, and I was like, oh, it's the Bears. They're going to get that Bears game. I don't think they can win in, in Philly, and I don't think they can beat Seattle. And they went to Philly, yeah. and like you said, put up 449 yards. Unbelievable. Scored 35 points. Kyler Murray has a passer rating of nearly 120. <laughs> and, and you can't tell me those guys didn't want to win that for their coach. And for a team with only three wins this late in the season, was week 17, mm-hmm. you know, professional athletes, as much as they say we're going to go out there and be a pro, Eh, you try to get, you know, you, you you act like you're going through the motions and you don't always get it done. Not this group. They're going to play to the final horn of Week 18. So uh, it was impressive to see them, I guess, rally to support their coach that Philly fans, which and I played in Philly for five years. I know all about the Philly <laughs> you fans. You know Philly me. fans. Oh, they love booing me. I missed my first shot. They get on me. Uh, and... That is special to go back there with you know you got the support of all your mates, your your players, and, and to get that kind of a, a victory was you know impressive. It shows that this team is going to support their coach. Yeah, no, it's it, you're so right, and we've we've seen it. I mean, like we've talked about this before. The Cardinals last year actually had a slightly better record. It wasn't like anything amazing, but but it felt so much worse last year, uh, and it felt worse by like early November honestly there was there was weirdness around that team in training camp last year but the one thing that they have done consistently this season I don't know if it's because they got a jolt because Kyler Murray came back mid-season whatever but they have been playing hard even going into this game I, I mean I thought they still they played hard against the Niners they're just not as good as the Niners right now I thought that they you know they didn't give up in the Bears game now you end up losing but I mean they there was still fight in the second half Anybody who watched this team closely last year knows full well that that wasn't there consistently last year. And I'm not saying it wasn't there from anybody. Like James Conner, obviously, it was there from him last year, and it's there from him this year. And, in fact, here's James Conner after the game. Yeah, we wanted to get it for him for sure. You know, uh, you know, see, coming, this is where you're coming from. And uh, so we know it's a little bit extra special. Super thankful we could get it done for Coach. But So he just said it right there, getting it done for Coach. But there were players on this team last year that are here this year that look different. <laughs> and and then, obviously, the guys they brought in look different. Just in general, this team, it'll be interesting to see how they play against Seattle. They have a chance to maybe take Seattle out of the playoffs next weekend. Um, it's just It's been refreshing to see them keep fighting each and every week. And this week, it totally paid off. I mean, I don't know about you, but when the schedule came out for the Cardinals at the start of the, you know, in the offseason, looking at it, you're like, okay, well, you know, maybe they can surprise some teams, but going into Philly on New Year's Eve, knowing how much Philly wanted to beat Gannon and how much that fan base wanted to beat Gannon, that was probably other than the San Francisco games, the one I thought was going to be the least winnable on that schedule. Yeah, and before I follow up on your comic, I just say that dude Connor. Yeah, he's he's, oh, he's the man. He's a beast. <laughs> that dude can run that football, <laughs> and I, you know, like I said, you. Heck, I took my 20-year-old uh, daughter might know more about the, all the players in the NFL and <laughs> football. Uh, but I watch this guy, and I say he plays hard. He runs well. He's got great f- vision on that field. Uh, I enjoy him. Second part of, of what you said is I, I love the fact that these guys are pros. The culture uh, of the Cardinal has changed from where it was with Cliff Kingsbury and that is going to serve them well moving forward when you start changing the culture and the dynamic around the entire organization and guys enjoy coming to work regardless of what the record is that's an impressive thing to be able to do in a short period of time like these guys have pulled it off yeah I I mean that's the most impressive part of the season I get it I understand they're four and twelve and yes I understand that they may have just cost themselves Marvin Harrison Jr. We'll talk about that later in the show. We will talk about that because I want Marvin Harrison Jr. too. But I think there's a lot of value 
to winning when you can win and, and having that winning culture. And I, I know you can't measure it tangibly, but what you just said, Scott, to me is the, is the biggest thing they could do this season is change the culture. The culture was miserable last year. And that's not something – it's not as simple as, well, we got a new coach and we got a new GM, so it'll change. It, it'll it change a little. It doesn't guarantee it's going to get better. I mean, what if – what if they looked the same right now? What if they were 4-12, and 12, but they were just kind of sleepwalking through these games and guys were getting in trouble and players weren't holding themselves or each other accountable? Anybody that watched the Cardinals last year, whether you're happy that they won on Sunday or not, well, we all agree this team looks different now than they did a year ago at this time. And that doesn't guarantee a Super Bowl next year. I'm not saying that, but the, you, this was – you can't take the other steps until you take this step, and, and they're finally taking a step. Here's Kyler Murray after the game. I mean, in a sense, yeah, it was just another game. But, um, no, nah, it wasn't just another game. You know, I think uh, – I know he wanted to win it really badly. Just, uh, you know, not not alma mater, but, you know, previous team. Uh, yeah, no, nah, I, I, I – I, want to, I would want to win it, you know, so I know the guys felt that energy from him and we wanted to come out here um, and do it for him. So they did <laughs> They put up 35 in Philly. I mean, that's got to be that much sweeter. He was the defensive coordinator in Philadelphia. He leaves. Now, I understand Philly fans. It, there's a distinction here. If you're saying he didn't if you're saying Jonathan Gannon messed up in the second half of the Super Bowl, that's fine. I mean, you obviously lost the game. If you're telling me that you lost the Super Bowl because Jonathan Gannon became took a head coaching job somewhere. <laughs> guys take head coaching jobs you got to get over it and you were facing Patrick Mahomes but from Gannon's perspective I know he said all the right things last week but you're telling me he don't want to go in there and put up 35 on the new defensive coordinator that is supposedly so much better than you although I know Eagles fans don't love Matt Patricia either but you get the point yeah no and I, I was doing a little research and like okay where does this 35 points fall well, the Eagles aren't that good defensively. Yeah. They are, are the only team that's got more than four wins in the NFL that have allowed over 400 points on the season. So, you know, maybe it's it's a little overblown putting 35 points on this team. But you know what? For a team with only three wins on the season to go in there and do that in January, it, you know, that's, that's doggone impressive. So I, I look at it more like – when I first got into the NBA, I had veterans like Paxson, Cartwright, Jordan, always talk about and preach about being a professional. And it's easy to say that, yeah, always be pro, but it's another thing to go out there and do that when you're struggling, the team is losing, and the fans are kind of getting on you, and Kyler Murray goes out there and fumbles the ball on the first drive and throws a pick six. After that, a 99-yard pick six. They could have hung their heads and just said, okay, let's finish out these you know, remaining minutes of this game, get on the bird, and go back to the Arizona. But they didn't. They kept fighting, and that's impressive. And that's when you know you've got a real culture change. You've got guys that are buying into being professionals. That pick six, I'm, I'm glad you brought it up. 100% that would have sunk this team last year. 100%. They throw – because that – I mean, clearly Kyler and Michael Wilson weren't on the same page. And then how do you give up a 99-yard return when everybody is between the, the defender and the end zone? And, it, look, sometimes that stuff happens. I get it. But a year ago, the Cardinals throw that pick six in the first half, and the second half is unwatchable. And instead, this year, they were just like, eh, we're, we're outplaying them. We'll just come back and we'll outplay them for the rest of the game. And they did. And you're right. Philly's defense isn't amazing this year. Um, but Philly needed that game badly. I mean, they, they still did. had a chance at number one in the NFC. Now they're not even number one in their division. Their path's getting a whole lot tougher. They got to start on the road uh, in the playoffs most likely now. And and they had everything to play for. But I, I the, the Cardinals finding ways to be internally motivated this season. And that, that was something that just – just wasn't there last year and that was I mean we have to agree that was their best win in two years right I was, I was looking at this yesterday like it's definitely their best win this year the Dallas win was impressive too but this is their best win this year they didn't really win a lot of games last year so I'm gonna go back it's it's got to be you got to be going back to like 2021 and you know maybe the Rams win you know maybe maybe one of the wins over San Francisco I don't know but either way this is if you're a Cardinals fan that had to be the the most impressive win in over two years it's a yeah. long time coming I mean, yeah, think about it. They 
they they took out Dallas, was eleven and five. They took out Philly, which, which was home, which is a good win. Yeah, especially like beating the Cowboy fans, you can shut them up. But you go to you go to Philadelphia, and the you know the Eagles need a victory to stay in the hunt to try to win their division, and you smash them. I mean, I think Washington was a, a good win on the road, but th- that Eagles win, you, you're right. I I can't think of a better win. And I watch every Redbirds football game and i can't think of a better win in the last couple of years well and the, you know the dallas one too was like a kyler wasn't there b it was early in the season i don't know if dallas if if dallas kind of was thinking they were just going to cruise through that or whatever I, I mean i watched that game twice i still don't totally understand how the cardinals did what they did in the dallas game but the one yesterday or, uh, sunday they just outplayed them and that, and that to me is why it's 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 the most impressive win is like you you played a really good philadelphia team i know that they're kind of scuffling right now but you went into their their stadium I can't imagine they were taking you lightly because they knew their fans wanted the Cardinals win more than seemingly any other win this season other than, you know, maybe a couple Dallas ones. Uh, and, and you went in there and you just outplayed them. So, you know, it doesn't you don't get to carry the win over to next year, but it is a pretty good sign going forward that they've bought in and that maybe Kyler Murray is starting to turn a corner now in this offense too. Thanks for watching Wolf and Luke. Tap to see more and click the button in the middle to subscribe to Arizona Sports.